guys and welcome back to Blushing Shades. I have a very exciting video today. I'm doing a collab with Sarah from Not Your Typical Doll Face and we decided to do a look using the Vice 3 palette because we both love it so much. But before I get into the tutorial and I just want to talk a little bit about this palette, I just want to say a few words about Sarah. Now I just recently found Sarah maybe about, I don't know, maybe around three months ago, but she has been an inspiration to me. Now she's a very positive person. Her channel is all about positivity. She always talks about three positive things that have happened in her um, d daily life at the end of her video, which I really, really love. I never used to be a very positive person, um, maybe just within the last couple of years, and it really has changed my life, just thinking positive about everything. So I really love her channel. I love her as a person. I think she's very special. She's amazing, and I just love her to pieces. She does amazing reviews. Um, she's uploading like all the time, and she's just, I just love her. So you guys have to go to her channel and subscribe because she is just wonderful, wonderful to watch. And I just love you, Sarah. So thank you so much for doing this collab with me. Now, now on to the Vice 3 palette. I just, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of the packaging. The packaging I just, I dislike. But besides the packaging, I really love the quality of these eyeshadows. Urban Decay never really disappoint, disappoints me. I love Vice 2 palette as well. I don't have the original one. Um, but that, that's okay. I just really like these colors. It's different. It's really good for fall as well. I love using the cranberry shades in here, but Sarah is going to be doing a look using the cranberry shades, and I decided to do a look using this beautiful green shade right here, which looks really nice on brown eyes. Sometimes so. working with color can be a little bit too much, especially for myself, because I'm more of a neutrals girl. I don't really wear a lot of color, so I wanted to do a green look that was very wearable, that just adds a little bit of pop of color. It really brings out my brown eyes, which I really like. I love the way it turned out, and I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to head over to Sarah's channel, let her know that I sent you, and um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm now on Pinterest if you guys are interested, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes with MAC's Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. This is just something that I use every single day. Then we're going to take a big fluffy brush and we're going to take this, a, um, this color right here. I believe it's called Undone and we're going to use that as a transition color. And just going to pop that in the crease. doesn't have to be neat. Then I'm going to take this shading brush by Real Techniques and I'm just going to pop that in this green color right here called Dragon and we're going to place that all over the lid. And we're really just going to pack this color in but it's really, really pigmented as you can see. So I want to keep this pretty simple. I still want this green eye look to be pretty wearable because I know sometimes it's can go a little crazy with color and I'm a very neutral girl so I wanted to give you guys something that would be very wearable. Then we're going to go in with this dark brown color right here and we're just going to place that in the outer corner and then slightly bring it into the crease. So I'm just going to pack it in first and then start to blend. So pack in the color and then blend. And then I'm going to bring it all the way to the other corner. Basically whatever is left on this brush here I'm just gonna kinda just blend that green in a little bit into the brown. And if you did lose a little bit of the green it can go back in and then just add a little bit more. Now I'm gonna take Max 224 and I'm gonna go in with this kinda golden copper shade. Uh, that's called Lucky and I'm just gonna put a little bit just in the crease and I'm just gonna blend those colors together. I just want to add a little bit of color in there. So I'm just gonna use that just to blend that out. We're gonna go in with this matte shade. Now it is pink but when it's applied it doesn't look pink at all so I'm gonna take that and use it as my brow bone. Now I'm going to go in with Kat Von D's Trooper Black Liquid Eyeliner. I love this liner and I pretty much say that in all my tutorials. 
Now just go in with your favorite mascara. I'm using the one from Bourjois. It's called Twist Up the Volume. I really love this mascara. It really does give me volume and length. So if you want to pop some false eyelashes, you can. Now we're just going to clean up the under eye. I'm going to go in with this Estee Lauder BB Glow highlighter. And then I'm going to highlight with the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. Now I'm going to set that with the Smashbox Highlight. This is their contouring kit. I really like it. I use it pretty much every day. So Now I'm going to use this MAC Glide Pencil in Black Line. And I'm just going to put that in my waterline. I'm going to go back in with that green color with a bl uh, flat shader brush and I'm just going to pop that in the lower lash line. And then we're going to go back in with that chocolate color and then just put that on the outer portion. And don't forget to put mascara on your lower lashes. For foundation, I'm actually trying out this Lancome 24-hour wear and comfort foundation. This is a full coverage foundation, so I'm testing it out today, and I will probably let you guys know in like a Friday favorites, or I might just do a review on it, but so far, I really like the coverage of it, and it doesn't feel cakey at all, so I really like that. So I'm going to go in and set with my Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. Then I'm going to bronze up the skin with Bobbi Brown's Golden Light 01. And we're just going to warm up the skin. For blush, I'm going to use Laura Mercier in Spiced Cider. This is my new new favorite blush. I can just I can't put it down. So that's what we're going to use. They're super pigmented and they're so soft and silky. I don't know why it took me so long to actually try one of her blushes, but they really are amazing. You guys will not be disappointed. For my highlight, I'm going to go in with Bobbi Brown's Bronze Glow. This is her limited edition. I just love this color. How pretty is that? So I'm just going to go in with a fan brush. So pretty. You don't need very much of this, so. And then just bring it down the front a little bit, whatever's left on your brush. I'm gonna take the NYX Wonder Pencil and just place that in the inner corner. This will just help my highlight just last a little bit longer. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back in with the highlighter and just place that in the inner corner. For lips, I'm going to use Max Strip Down Lip Liner and the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Barbara. This is like my new favorite nude. Okay, so this is the finished look and I really like the way it turned out and I hope that you guys did too. Don't forget to go over to Sarah's channel and check out what she did. I'm sure it's amazing because she does great, great tutorials and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.